Hey, what's up, you guys? Wake up. Um, Deion Sanders and Tracy Edmonds Ross are gone. If you guys don't know, they are, I was going to say divorcing, but do you know that woman dated him for 12 years and was a fiance for three years until she literally, he literally dumped her. I hope she kept the ring. I really do. Somebody wasting your time for 12 years and maybe she wasted her own time. We have all the details and the posts, but I would just like to point out, is this a, um, a thing of you get them how you lose them? Because don't forget Deion Sanders has been alleged to be one of the most narky, narky, narky people out there. On top of that, Pilar, even, that's his ex-wife. Yes, she got to be a wife. I guess after that, he is like, I ain't never getting married again, right? Pilar literally accused him of um, cheating on him, her with Tracy Edmonds. She tried to get 200 million. Y'all, let's get into this. Now, listen, even though Tracy Edmonds, Ross and Deion Sanders, um, they were a fiance for 12 years i'm just joking she's been a fiance for four or five years she was with them for like nine years or eight years i know my mouth is off but make it add up to 14 years she was um with them for 14 years never got a wedding never got down the aisle how somebody leads you not even lead you how do you allow yourself to be a girlfriend that long again if it was her choice maybe but i don't think it was a choice because if that's the case, they wouldn't have gotten engaged. It sounds like he got engaged with her to shut her up. Now he's like, what, coaching Colorado? But it sounds like he's doing a, a bad job on that, right? But let's get into this. The first allegation, because baby, the streets are talking. And Dion, I don't think you're going to like what they're saying. Okay, so let's get to the post, right? And I'm not laughing because they're going their separate ways. I'm laughing because... Deion Sanders is a clown. Tracy Edmonds put up this whole post about, oh my God. And you could tell she's really, really heard about this. Deion Sanders literally was like, yeah, love you, boo. Like, it was just crazy. Anyway, get this. They said football legend Deion Sanders and his longtime fiance, TV producer Tracy Edmonds are calling it quits after 12 years together. Tracy broke the news that she and Prime, that's Deion's nickname, we're ending the relationship on Sunday night, explaining the decision to split was mutually decided. We've mutually decided that it is best for us to move forward in life as friends. And if I made this decision with love in our hearts, respect for each other, and appreciation for the time we've shared together, please keep us in your prayers as we go through this transition. Thank you for being there for all of us these years. We love you and appreciate you so much. I didn't know they were a celebrity couple. Was anybody rooting for them to be together uh, as opposed to praying that Deion Sanders didn't doesn't treat her like he treated Pilar and their kids? Was anybody praying that Deion Sanders would be faithful and wouldn't cheat on her like he did uh, Pilar alleged with the kids? Was I think we were more praying for her than rooting for them, but I guess, right? God's blessings, God's blessings. Listen to what they, they said. There seems to be nothing but admiration between the former couple. As Dion commented on her post, he didn't even put up his own post. He's like, I'm single. I'm putting that on my page. He's trying to get, he don't want his new girl or his old girl as it be to get mad. He commented on her post, calling her an amazing woman, adding that she's been a true blessing to him. I'm laughing because if I broke up with my man after him, um, being with me for nine years and keeping me engaged for four because Tracy one, I'm Tracy one to get married for him to literally do the human equivalent of patting me on the top of my head. <laughs> I would have deleted that post so quick. He said, Love you, Tracy. He didn't even spell out you, he just put the letter you love you, Tracy. And you've been a true blessing to me. I appreciate the times we shared and, and the laughs we've had. <laughs> You're an amazing woman and a tremendous mother. God bless you with every endeavor and every step you take. You are her in capital letters, Tracy Mack. That powerhouse couple, they said, had been engaged for almost four years. She announced that they were engaged on the Instagram post. Uh, Tracy's, oh, Tracy's 56. She looks amazing. Anyway, Tracy's a gorgeous woman. She's going to be all right. And they met in 2012 at a movie career for a film she had produced. Following a brief conversation during the party, Dion asked a friend to get her business card that night. Um, 
Tracy reached out to, I'm sorry, Dion reached out to Tracy a few months later to pitch her his idea for the reality series, Dion's Family Playbook. He said, I started off thinking I was going to produce the show. That's what Tracy said. But I, but as I started working with Dion on the show, we grew quite fond of each other and ended up dating. Okay, um, can I just say, she said that I would never imagine in a million years that our paths would cross and we'd end up in a relationship together. Um, they He thinks that the relationship worked um, because they were at the same age and stage where I don't think neither, neither of us needed it. A lot. This is a red flag. First of all, beloved, Tracy, Dion was married when you met him. Married when he asked you to be a producer. Anyway, um, they had a, they did a, they got, they launched a production company in 1993. They said that the schedules made conflict with no natural routine when they could spend time together. They did their very best to see each other as they po as much as they possibly could. Yo, yeah, no, mm -mm. no, 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 because the North remembers. You can tell this little love story all you want, baby. The North remembers. No, Tracy. Nope, nope, nope. Who's Dion see him right now? He didn't even put up a post. No, Tracy. No. Because let's remember when Pilar Sanders said Dion cheated on her with Tracy Edmonds. Pilar, they said, now get this. This was from Vibe magazine. Vibe was so sexist and obviously pro Dion Sanders. Get this. Pilar Sanders is certainly milking the hell out of her public divorce with NFL player Dion Sanders. <gasps> Quail surprise. A wife is mad that uh, the husband's side chick is now becoming the girlfriend. Hmm, we're not allowed to speak about that anymore. She's suing Dion for 200 million for assault, claiming emotional and physical abuse, mental distress, public humiliation, and financial loss. In addition, she's filed legal documents requesting to take dispositions on Tracy um, Edmonds, who she claims is allegedly one of Dion's mistresses. Emphasis on the one of Dion's mistresses. This was written in 2012. The 2012 was a wild place. The way men could really be monsters. And Vibe Magazine was co-signing. Listen, milk in the hell. She wants $200 million for assault, claiming emotional and physical abuse. This is probably what Tracy probably thought she was slick getting Dion after he was done love bombing her. This was probably Tracy's life for 12 years. But at least Pilar got a ring. Emotional and physical abuse, mental distress, public humiliation, and financial loss. Plus, she was one of his Many, many mistresses. Tracy, who used to be married to Baby's face, re responded to the allegations on TMZ stating, I'm shocked to learn that Pilar Sanders is trying to drag me and my employees through her prenuptial dispute. I cannot understand why she continues to create public issues out of her private life issues, and I feel very sorry for their children. She continued, for the record, Again, I know Pilar is sitting there, Kiki and B, you ain't get a ring. You ain't get a name. You didn't get anything except for being his glorified girlfriend. And then he left you the same way he left me, only worse, because at least Dion had to say my wife. He literally commented in your Instagram section. He didn't even give you a post. He, com he left a comment in Tracy's Instagram section. But she continued. For the record, Deion Sanders and I first met at the top of this year after he filed for divorce when he and his partner reached out to me to produce a project of his. Tracy and she, uh, so then um, Tracy finished with some remarks on Twitter. She said, thank you at TMZ for now including the fact that we're doing his show. I just have to brace myself for a a day week full of nonsense in the blogs. Look how Tracy was so like, uh, Pilar's being so uncouth, putting her personal business in the blogs. Oh my God, I feel so sorry for the children. Baby, we feel sorry for you right now because baby, nobody even cares enough. Again, thank you for all of us, all of you wishing us well. Again, wishing and praying are two different things. Um, They said, Dion even apologized for Pilar's antics on Twitter, stating, at Dion Sanders, I apologize for this ignorance. 
You're a clut. Wait. No, he apologized to Pilar. I apologize for this ignorance. You're a classy woman that don't deserve your name thrown in the toilets with lies. Truth. That. Thank you. Y'all, listen. And now look at Tracy. Now look, you gave all these years and times to a man that literally did have you as this other woman and was planning on gaming you and never even gave you a ring. And now 12 years later, you are leaving this relationship with nothing but what you came in. And you still are talking about like you're classy because you're not letting us know everything Dion took you through, baby. The mistresses are going to come out. The alleged side chicks are going to come out. And I want to hear Pilar's point of view. Hold on. Let me go to Twitter and see if she said anything. Okay, I just went to Pilar's Instagram and Twitter. She has not publicly com commented on this yet. But can I just say for any woman that whether she knows it or not is an interloper, because guys be lying, right? Maybe Tr Tracy Evans really was like, oh, no, like nothing improper happened. But Pilar knew her ex, her at that time husband, and she knew what he was gaming on. But let this be a lesson to any woman that wants to be like oh my god this is so uncouth because the ex is saying that the man ain't ish and he's doing all this stuff Shh. quiet beloved keep your ears open keep your eyes open because baby you could actually be having a premonition of your future and let it always be known it's easy to have class and grace when you don't got somebody stressing you out disrespecting you laying their hands on you and humiliating you all right let's see how classy tracy edmonds ross says although i do know that with men like dion it's my opinion i don't know him personally but this is my opinion from what i read about him in the blogs this whole this whole video is men like that when they call you classy elegant you are her baby they calling you a dumb a b because all they know is they can do whatever you want and you go and sit there and be like i'm classy i'm just gonna take it baby you ain't nothing but a glorified doormat Anyway, y'all, I guess Tracy don't need our prayers, but our thoughts are worth there. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what you've heard. And from what I've heard about Deion Sanders, I'm 100% sure there is some woman probably already moved in talking trash about Tracy. You know the way he rolls. He makes sure the next one don't like the last one and think they're better. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.